future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Louisville Bats and the Rochester Red Wings. We've got baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Into the box Nick Senzel and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Our temperature, a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That is to the plate now, Jesse Winker. Skied in the air to straightaway left. De La Rosa is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now at the plate, here is Logan Morrison. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Hit. Senzel is on his way home. And he's he safe at the plate as they take the lead. That is cool. the right fielder, number 16, TJ. Standing in now, TJ Friedel. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Morrison, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Lays Good off two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second That's now with one away. The second base. Number 28. Swung on and missed. One and two now. One and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Stepping in, Victor Robles. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. No left field. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. So stepping in that is hurt. Rhett Wiseman, the right looking fielder. to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Wiseman. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Now at the plate, Jose Garcia. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Three-two pitch. Full count still. Payoff pitch one more time. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping up is Reese Hines. The third baseman, number three. Reese Hines. 
Here's the 3 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center, giving Chase his Robles. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next, it'll be Bo Taylor. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Straight three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Leading off the inning, it'll be Drew Mendoza as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Now the 2 1. That's the ball. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Up next, Mike Ford. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. Next to hit is Jackson Flores. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Runners on the move for second. Hit swung on and missed the throw. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. Two out, nobody on. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Two and two. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So here now is the pitcher, Hector Perez. Nine, one, and two do up. Now the one and one pitch. Left side. A dive and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. The bat. The center field. Nick Senzel. Into the box, Nick Senzel. Outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another try at 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Wiseman will settle under it to make the play for the first out, as the runner will have to head back to first. Now, with the plate, is Jesse Winker. Fly yes, down in his first at bat, mm -hmm. so making 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And he lays off again, ball three. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Fouled away. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, T.J. Friedel, who worked a walk his first time up. Very high, two and one. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. 
big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty, and it's even at two and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Number 28. In now, number 28. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the second run will score. It's now a 4 nothing game. Now that the cook guy, Jose At the plate, Jose Garcia. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Runners off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Has a look. Now the pitch. And that ball misses four, that ball four. four, so it's first and second now with two out. Next to hit, Reese Hines flew out last Reese. time up. Hines. And two this ball, ball runs one away strike. for ball two, two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Aye. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Strasburg comes set. 2-2 two, two on its way home. We got a full count. Three and that and misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So now to the plate, Samuel Infante, and they've got some work to do early on, down 4 nothing already. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game, there's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. The Everybody do one their two. job one at bat at a time. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So next to hit is number 38. He'll take his first hacks here. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Cody Reed will pinch hit here and finish the at bat following the injury. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batting nine. So no next to bat will be Steven Strasburg. This guy's still Whoa. looking at a zero in the hit column. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. He 
in another foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Got to take your hat off to the pitcher right here. He's throwing a little pesky. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Striding in is Bo Taylor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and one, here it comes. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. He's got it. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Hector Perez. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Here's the one and one pitch. And he pumps the fastball one by him here. Strike. One and two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time. And it's back to even now at two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Now back, left field, Jesse. Winker. Stepping in now, going, Jesse going. Winker. Here's another shot down the line in right. Another as this is now a five nothing game. Patrick Murphy answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Your attention, please. So now to the plate, Logan Morrison belted high and deep into right center, racing back the center fielder, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. To the plate now, TJ Friedel. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Victor Robles. The bouncer to the left side. Barehanded at his knees. He's out. He's out. So here is Jeremy De La Rosa. Left flew out in his only Jeremy. at bat so far. De La Rosa. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. The right fielder, number four. Standing in now, Rhett Wiseman. Wiseman. Outside in a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Oh, had a hanger that time, but missed it. One and two. Woo, not a spot you'd expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Two balls, to two balls two and strikes. two strikes now. Count 
count remains two and two. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be laid on that fastball. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And that'll get down out there. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Now back, the first baseman, Mike. Into the box now, Mike Ford. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The 2-1. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Digging in, the switch hitter, number 28. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. lifted the other way down the left field line left fielder giving chase and he makes the catch in the corner next to stand in is Jose Garcia it was a walk in his last trip and it's one and two hey I don't mind that take right there that was a nasty breaking ball Started outside the zone, pop back nope. inside the next zone. Inside. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Here now the 2-2. Is Aye. down low, and he gets the call. Strike three looking. So the next the to bat will be Reese Hines. Struck Reese. out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ground ball right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now At the plate, Number Bo Taylor. Ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. At the plate now, Hector, Hector Perez. Perez. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Ready now is Samuel Infante as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1 1. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the left fielder. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. The pass. The catcher. Rowdy. In now, Brody Reed popped him up. And that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Number 88 will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. One out and a runner on third. Fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two.
line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Victor Robles digging in now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Ben Kramer takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 59. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Nick Senzel. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Count even at 2 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this is going to be extra bases here leading off the sixth. Not in time, he's and he's in there with a double. The left field, number 33, Jesse. To plate now, Jesse Winker. Winker in front, three balls and a strike. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life oh. of an umpire. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with the nobody out. A 1 1 home. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Robles has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Next up is TJ Friedel. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Here comes Robles, but he won't get there. It falls in. And the runner scores from third no. as they extend their lead. And he is in there. Now that number 28. Standing in now, number 28. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. to the second baseman. Now to bat, Jose Garcia. And their now runners at the corners Jose now. Jose Garcia. The 2-2. Two -two. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Marjay Alaniz enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 51. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and standing in the outfielder, Jeremy De La Rosa. Ready to deliver the one and two. Very weakly on the ground. He's set and the one two pitch. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Reined in. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. The right fielder, number four. Rhett. Into the box, Wiseman. Rhett Wiseman. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Lifted the other way out to left center. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. And now, Drew Mendoza. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. Back with one down and in for ball three. Mike Ford is on deck. And this is with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Here's Mike Ford. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 
keeping it down here as it's one to one and two. two yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he Outside, goes to the well the one more time with that pitch. The count now at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pulled toward right center field. Friedel is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Next to dig in, Jackson Flores. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Inside, ball two. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Man, hard to understand why a guy who runs so well would take such a big hack like that one. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll, and set to go is the third baseman, Reese Hines. The 1-1. What a well executed fastball right there down and away if you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Robles comes on now and he has it one down. Next here is Bo Taylor singled in his last at bat. The one one home. Is a fastball taken high for a ball. Hit well on the ground to first. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Delino De Shields will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number seven. Delino. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. We got full count. Swing and a line drive. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Kyle McGowan comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box now, Nick Senzel. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. De La Rosa has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Runners at the corners, two men out. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. De La Rosa is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. CNL Pettis will take over now on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 43. CNL. And now in the box, Samuel Infante. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. Blake now, Brody Reed. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Senzel's got it, and there's one gone. 
Jake Knoll. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Big hitting for the Red Wings. Number 18, Jake Knoll. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Jake Knoll becomes out number two this inning. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Hard hit ball to short. And there's his first base hit in this one. The batter, the left fielder, Jeremy. Jeremy. Stepping in now, Jeremy De La Rosa. 3 and 1. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hey. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Luis Avilon has been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 70. Luis. So now into the box is Logan Morrison. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. So now to the plate, TJ Friedel. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Now it'll be number 28. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. The count is two and one. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even two and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. Now the relay home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Now that is. At the plate now is Jose Garcia. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. Two and one to count. Grounded to short. Scooped up. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Rhett Wiseman. Hey. And he takes a cold strike two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first now out. Batting. Third baseman, Drew Mendoza. All even now, two and two. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in once again is Mike Ford. No hits to this point. And that one yanked just foul. 
I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting now without the question. Want the fans to be safe. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Next, it'll be Jackson Flores. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Now into the box, Reese Hines. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Pitch on the way. To two and two now. Two balls, two strikes. Sinker, three and two now. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's right there. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Digging in will be Bo Taylor, who hits in four attempts to this point. Misses ball two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Bo Taylor goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Over to first, and that retires the side. Warren, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 77. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Samuel Infante. High in the air out to center field. Senzel is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Now to the plate, Brody Reed. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 2-1. I got 3-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitcher here. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Hines is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Victor Robles. He's got one hit in four at bats. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Winker is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 9-3, to three, the final tally here in this one. Louisville posted 15 total hits in the ball game. Hector Perez earns the victory on the mound. Steven Strasburg permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
our final line score. First for the victorious.